Tennessee currently needs six billion dollars to make sure roads are in good shape when I get older. That's a lot of money. I'm nine years old. If the people at TDOT work with the money they have now, projects, projects won't even be completed until I'm 27 years old. That's a lot of time. So what are we going to do? Look at this map. Tennessee is one of the last few states who have not yet passed a transportation funding increase. These states are currently talking about some sort of plan, and the majority of states have already taken action and passed legislation, like our neighbors in Georgia. The Transportation Funding Act of 2015 has given us the flexibility to be strategic with using federal funds and state funds that we've never had before. And our friends in Virginia signed a bill which overhauled the transportation funding system by getting rid of the gas tax. The bill raised the sales tax, created a tax on wholesale gas and diesel, and charged registration fees for smart cars. Kirk Cox, the majority leader, and I would go to the governor. We'd say, Governor, I I'm just not sure if you're ready. It's a short session. It's election year. We haven't done the, the spade work on getting everybody to buy into the different areas. He'd say, nope, we're going to do it. We can do it. People in North Carolina did something, too. Now they get a $352 million transportation funding boost each year. These are all the states we compete with for new business and better paying jobs. Roads are often a selling point to recruit those companies to pick one state over another. And many have already chosen Tennessee over the past few years. So other states that we compete with are Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, pretty much every state that, that borders our, our state. And our infrastructure is one of our number one selling features. We've got some of the best infrastructure in the country and we need to keep it that way. And one great example is Under Armour. The state invested about $900,000 in an access road. And as a result, they located 1,500 jobs here and made a $102 million capital investment. I'll be looking for a better job soon. And I'd much, much rather, rather stay in Tennessee.